the story. It's been revealed that in a number of instances, government officials have been caught fudging water test results in order to cover up possible contamination. Among the cities caught cheating on their water safety inspections was the Metropolitan Center of Philadelphia. To add insult to injury, the city of Philadelphia has actively concealed this issue by rigging its lead testing procedures. And it gets worse. When the Guardian newspaper filed a freedom of information request for 88 cities in eastern Mississippi, it was discovered that 33 of them were intentionally falsifying water test results. In 21 cities, water pipes were pre-flushed in order to make sure the results looked better. In seven cities, decaying and rusty aerators were removed for the same reason. And in 23 cities, testers intentionally kept water pressure low, again to twist the data. After Flint, the U.S. government went into a public relations overdrive. Can, can I get some water? Come on up here. Give me some water. Need a glass of water. This is not a stunt. President Obama didn't just go to Flint and give a speech. The White House found a touching letter from a small child that he could respond to and pluck the heartstrings of the nation. Mr. President, hello, my name is Mario Copeland. I'm eight years old and I've been in Flint, Michigan, and I've been doing my best to march in protest and to speak out for all the kids that here live in Flint. If you're using a filter, if you're installing it, uh, then Flint water at this point is drinkable. Now that Flint is no longer in the spotlight, we are learning that the problem is bigger than one city. It's going to take much more than a few filters and photo ops to solve it. Caleb Moppin, RT, Washington, D.C.